What are the reasons why the last six months of my investing journey have been the best financial period of my entire life? Hello future investors and welcome back to another weekly episode. Right now I am actually away on a business trip. We've got my lovely bed there and I, I've actually bought some precious metals and my book with me so I could continue to make the content that I, I absolutely love making just for you guys. So today's episode is going to be a lot more of a freehand episode and I want to talk about why the last six months of my life being from January 2023 have been the best financial new year of my entire life regarding my investments and my plan going forward. Well, as I say, it's been a fantastic time for me this year in regards to really my investments and my knowledge on investing. I've been investing now, as most of you will know, for a good couple of years. Um, but recently, I'd say the last six months to maybe a year at an absolute push, my mind has been completely opened to the real benefits of investing on a long-term basis on a more high risk strategy and also on a long-term low risk really high reward strategy as well so going forward in this episode i'm going to be talking to you about the precious metals as you can see i have brought a lovely one ounce silver britannia with me on my journey out but i've also brought the book that i'm absolutely loving by robert kiyosaki rich dad poor dad now i've got some quotes in here that i do want to talk to you guys uh, about later on that will really open your mindset into investing and how the rich have the mentality of that winning mentality and you can also take that into effect into your daily life it doesn't always have to be about the finances but you can use some of these strategic methods to really improve your life now i'm going to try my best today to film one-handed because i haven't got my tripod i'm currently just as i say i'm away on a business trip and uh, yeah, I'm using my phone, my one hand, so please bear with me if it's a little bit wobbly. But yeah, really, this year has been the best investment period of my entire life. And the simple reason for that is this book. This book has completely opened my eyes to what I needed to hear and what I needed to learn. Now, I have always been into saving money. I've always been relatively good with my finance, if, if not, to be honest with you, very good, um, especially at savings. But I wasn't very good at investing and I didn't particularly know where to put my money. Now, of course, I've been investing in precious metals since around 2020. But in the last year, I've really upped that game and invested a lot more capital into the asset. I've stopped dilly dallying around buying really small fractional gold bullion and silver bullion here and there. And I've, I've invested a lot more capital because my eyes have been awakened to the benefits of investing properly and seriously, especially over a long term period, being that I'm 26 and I've got a good period of age on my time. Now, as most of you will know, the seasoned followers and subscribers of which most of you are, which I'm very fortunate, you know, my retirement plan is to leave working at an early age and I want to retire between 46 and 50. Now, that's a very ambitious goal, but uh, I believe you want your goals to be ambitious. And, and if they're not ambitious, a good way to find that out is when you tell people about your goals, if they don't laugh, then maybe it's not ambitious enough. And when I tell people I want to retire at 46, they maybe don't laugh, but they certainly give me a look of you will never do that. And that is actually what I want because that drives me. That gives me more fire, more power in my belly to push for those goals and a big thank you to the the investment mindset it's got to be this book rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki it's my first ever financial book i've actually ever read believe it or not although i do future investments and you might think i'm quite well researched when it comes to my videos and my my standard of knowledge at least with precious metals that that is that is probably quite up there but in terms of investing and and the simple methods of how the rich get rich and the poor stay poor that my mindset wasn't particularly knowledgeable about so i bought my very first book um, i did a lot of research and this was one of the most popular books that i could see in regards to investing so i did it and i bought it in january and now we're coming into june um, so it's taken me a long time to get through it 
but you know I have got a life I've got future investments which takes up an awful lot of my time um, I've got you know family and responsibilities so most of you will understand that but I am yeah I'm about to finish it tonight those pages will be finished um, and I'm very very excited to, to to the fact that I will have finished this but I've got to say if you haven't read it I would really recommend it and I'm gonna go through some quotes that I've actually uh, pinpointed for you um, recently just found out where they were um, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go through some of them and and then I'm gonna to touch on these topics a little bit so the first one is these are all quotes from Robert Kiyosaki and it basically he asks the questions and he wants you to sit back and think about it so that's what I want you to do I want you to listen to these quotes and I want you to think about the meaning and and does it apply to you and if it doesn't why not what can you change to make that apply to you so the first one is there is gold everywhere most people are not trained to see it and I think for me that is very very um, a good way of describing how there is missed opportunities right in front of your face that's how I would look at that um, and without a strong reason or purpose anything in life is hard meaning that you should have a reason for what you're doing it gives you that drive and it also helps you stay consistent that's what I believe the meaning behind that is he's got financially with every dollar we get in our hands we are we hold the power to choose our future to be rich poor or middle class and that's very true it comes down to you as the person no one's going to do it for you having that money in your hand is giving you access to that opportunity 90 percent of the population buys tv sets and only about 10 percent buys business books and i can totally believe that i'm surprised it's not even lower than that because really it's a very small niche market of people that actually not only talk about bettering their financial future but actually carry out that self journey of teaching their self to be better financially literate um, and then another one is each of us knows people who are highly educated or believe they're smart but their balance sheets paints a different picture now he means you know you can be well you can be well trained you can be well educated but it doesn't actually mean you're good with money so you have to make sure you're well adapted in the verse of finances another one that i like is i've noticed that my friends with money talk about money they don't do it to brag they're interested in the subject so i learn from them and they learn from me i love that one of my favorites i did a video on this recently talking about why i believe you should talk about money and i think that's exactly that i think you are who you surround yourself with and and you can learn you can learn a lot by networking with people that have achieved more than yourself another one that i love is if you're tired of what you're doing or you're not making enough it's simply a case of changing the formula via which you make money simple really but it's uh, harder to implicate into practice it's, it's literally change the pattern if something's not working ask yourself why and try and adapt to make that now work for you and the final three people who lack eternal fortitude often become victims of those who have self-discipline and that's simply about having the self-control the self-desire to complete the goals that you set out and not using excuses to come up with reasons why you didn't achieve it second from last is i have lost money on many occasions but i only play with money i can afford to lose i live by that i invest what i can afford to lose i'm investing a fair amount in the s p 500 myself right now and again over a 20 year holding period that's going to be a substantial amount of money but i'm willing to take that risk to have a greater reward and i can only do that because i personally believe and know that i can afford to lose that money so it's a good lesson there only afford to only uh, you know only uh, risk what you can afford to lose and finally the easy road often becomes hard and the hard road often becomes easy and that's very very true you've got a quote similar to that which actually says you know five years of pain now for 30 years of pleasure later or you can have five years of uh, pleasure now for 30 years of pain I know which one I would rather have um, so yeah some quotes from Robert Kiyosaki there but it really has opened my mindset on to investing and I have had the best financial year not only in terms of income from multiple sources of income I now as you all know I earn money from YouTube um, I'm monetized I do some private work on the side which is here and there when I want it but it's a great source of income and my main job is a good job I've got to be honest it's a good job um, I'm pretty skilled I've, but I've made myself skilled I've not got lucky so you have to make your own luck so I wanted to explain that this book has really changed my life and if you haven't read it I recommend you read it if you're serious about learning how to invest 
and not even learning about the figures, just learning about the simple mindset about building your asset column versus building your liability column. It really is as simple as that. You know, you have your balance sheet, you have your expenses sheet, you know, look at your income, look at where it's going. Is it going into assets or is it going into liabilities? You wanna make sure you're building your asset column and not your liabilities. So maybe think about not buying that new TV or maybe even that new car. Think about putting that money together and buying a buy to let property. That then means every pound invested is a worker for you working. Um, I'm considering selling, selling my car. I love it to bits, but the goal for me is much bigger than, than a car. Uh, you know, you've got to look beyond the end of your nose and sometimes you have to make sacrifices. So I'm willing to have five years of pain now to have 30 years of pleasure in the future. So yeah, just a video I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, I'm feeling very positive. I'm feeling very happy with my current investments. A big one I've got to say is networking. A big thank you to people like 365 Days of Silver, The Stack Collector, McDonald Bullion, and even just the normal supporters like Lee, Every Cloud, all of you guys, John, your support is, is amazing. And the networking between people like 365, The Stack Collector, McDonald Bullion, the content creators, getting in touch with you guys has been detrimentally effective to, not detrimentally effective because that's a negative, it's been extremely effective to helping my goals you know 365 massively helped me setting up my s p 500 account so big thank you to him and it's made me very happy doing that because i've always wanted to be someone that's have had good investments going forward and really i only had precious metals and a lot of cash so now i'm really getting more diversified so the more networking you can do i believe the better it will be for you going forward so i hope you've enjoyed this video i've enjoyed filming it today it's an off-the-cuff video but it's something that actually means a bit to me it's not just your standard bullion talk or price talk or you know sometimes a waffle it's actually something that's close to my heart that i really am enjoying you know investing isn't just a, a thing for me it's actually a hobby you know and i kind of count myself blessed that this is a hobby you know because some people do it just because they want to be financially free and, and have, have their time in the future but they don't they wouldn't class it as a hobby but for me, I love the grind. I love the hustle. I love working hard. I love seeing those pounds build up. And the more money I've got, the more I can invest. And the more I can invest, the more money I make. The, the quicker I do it, the longer I can do it, the earlier I can retire. And the, and the better financially off I am, the more I can spend time with those I love and the more I can help those I love because it's also about giving back as well. So, yeah, thinking about the end goal, I'm feeling very positive being 26. Of course, life isn't guaranteed and who knows what can happen, but... If you lived your life thinking that, you'd never make any steps forward. So I'm just going as far as I can, as forward as I can, as quick as I can, while trying to enjoy a little bit of life here and there. So big thank you to everyone for supporting the channel. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please let me know what you think in the comments section below. But really, I would like to know how your investment goals and you know plan is going throughout this current year. Are you on target? Would you like to find a new investment? Would you like to diversify more? Would you like to invest more money into precious metals? Maybe you'd like to clear some debt. So let me know in the comments below. I'd like to have a good discussion with you about that because I'm seriously, genuinely interested in each and every one of you and and those of you that want to network and talk about finances and, and, and maybe we can learn some of, something off each other as well. So thank you for watching as always. Appreciate the channel members, the Stat Collector, 365 Days of Silver. And we've also got two more channel members but they do not want to be mentioned. So you know who you are. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate you all very, very much. And until next time, I'll see all of you wonderful future investors in the very next episode. So until then, I'll see you then, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. To watch another episode on future investments, click the link now.